So, as you can clearly see, the birds work for the bourgeoisie. Birds? What are you talking about? The Hunger Games? No, I was talking about how the birds... No one cares. And that's how they do it. Who? No, we don't have time for this. We have a show to do. So it's time for another edition of... Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News. stories on dance in the old church demolition. I'm Chris. And I'm Jacob. So here's how the birds... No, introduce the story. <sighs> we see them perform at halftimes and at competitions. Let's take a behind the scenes look at dance. Hi, I'm Peyton with the Fieldcrest Nightly News. The dance team has just switched into competition mode, so let's get to know some of our dancers. Hi, I'm Logan. And I'm here with Mallory Dante from the Fieldcrest dance team. How does this dance season differ from previous seasons? This year, we definitely have a lot more experience, and if we just keep working hard, I think we'll definitely go places. How do you feel this dance team is going to place this year? I think if we just keep working hard and putting the time in that we need to, that we could go to state again. So last dance season, you sustained an injury. How is your recovery going? It's going good. Finished physical therapy, so hoping I don't get hurt again. So Dante, what is your favorite thing about being on the dance team? I'd have to say my favorite thing about being on the dance team is learning new skills and new tricks and being able to use them in the routine. Are you looking forward to anything this dance season? Yeah, I think we have a really good routine this year and we can go pretty far. What is your favorite dance move to do on the dance team? Uh, my favorite trick is a toe touch. How about you, Mallory? What is your favorite dance move? Falling. I could tell. I'm here with Fieldcrest dance captain Jordan. So, how's your first year being captain, Jordan? I think it's going pretty good. I think we all get along pretty well. How do you plan on standing out compared to other captains that there have been? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, of course, all the previous captains have done pretty good. Um, I think that I just try to do more team bonding activities. How do you balance the authority of being captain and also staying friends with all of the dancers? Well, I mean, it's impossible not to get on each other's nerves, but I think that we also try to leave some room to be able to laugh and have fun when... How many years have you coached this dance team? I believe 27 years. How is this dance season going to be different from previous dance seasons? This one will probably be, hopefully, the same as last year, and we'll advance to the IHSA state finals. Uh, it's a little tricky this year because we've got the football team still going for playoffs, which is awesome, but then that pulls us all in all different directions. What made you choose to coach dance team? You know, um, I danced since I was a little girl. I've taken dance lessons, and I always loved dance. So it was something that I had really enjoyed as a female athlete when I was in high school. Now that we've gotten to know our dance team, let's get out and support them at the competitions. For the Nightly News, I'm Peyton. And I'm Logan. Good luck to the team at sectionals this weekend. It seems as if it was there forever, but now it's not. Here's a look at the church demolition. Today we have a story on the church demolition. Another piece of Minunk's history gone. Can you realize how has this affected the community? Well, to me, when I see it's part of Minunk's history, and so it's really sad to go down. How does the building coming down affect you? It really doesn't. It was just a building to me. More space, parking lot, maybe. How well has the demolition gone? Oh, I'd say it's gone pretty good. Um, it's about everything we've expected out of this uh, typical demolition. No. What's been the hardest part? Uh, I'd say the hardest part on this project is the battle on the weather that we've been getting recently and also uh, sorting the debris and cleaning the piles so that they go to the right places. How has it affected the school? Well, I, I suppose the biggest way that it's impacted the school is just by the change in um, transportation around uh, the, the building. 
Um, as you're as you're aware, uh, the buses with not being able to come in the front um, have have had to come in the back and circulate out the back. Overall, it's worked really well. Um, we've made some changes even for the younger students um, that that get transported over to the primary, and actually those things are actually going to, to remain the same. Um, we've had in the past we've had students here before school and and um, they actually are unsupervised and so by moving the students over there during this time period uh, over to the primary um, the younger students have been supervised and, and it's also taken pressure off um, some of the um, driving issues here and and so actually what ended up being kind of a problem ended up working out in the long run with a with a solution um, that uh, we're going to continue on with um, as something positive moving forward uh, with with the transportation okay. Is anything going to go in that spot? Well, that's interesting. I've had a lot of people ask me that. Ultimately, I'd like to say I've got the I've got the choice in the matter. Um, I think right now the the biggest thing we're looking at is um, the ad added parking. I mean, I think if you've come to a ball game um, during the winter, you'll see a lot of times where people are cluttering up the main drive with uh, trying to park along the sidewalk, and so. Hopefully, we'll be able to, by adding some parking, then we'll be able to take the pressure off the entrance and um, uh, put some cars in that spot. The only other thing that I've made as a suggestion is uh, there's a little bit of space there. I would, I would love to see work out as uh, like a garden for the for the ag department. That way, they could try some you know some some different types of plants and things that are closer here than you know going out to the plots of land where they plant their corn and and such. So. Um, that would be the only other thing I could uh, I, I kind of envision happening in maybe a little section of it, but mostly parking. I really hope they had parking. Me too. For your nightly news, I'm Haley. And I am Hannah. We'll be watching to see what happens with that space. Best wishes to all the teams competing this weekend. Dance sectionals plus girls and boys basketball in the McLean County Tournament. Next show, we'll have stories on football and girls basketball. We'll see you with, soon with another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News.